This is Rockford having his usual morning run at the park. Unlike humans, dogs do not wear socks or shoes. Especially during the summer, which is every day in Thailand where we live, dogs only sweat from their paws and their mouth. The moist or damp paws can easily be exposed to many environmental factors such as grass, leaves, mud, dirt, pollens, or pesticides that your neighbors spray in the garden. This may cause allergies, irritants, or infections to your dog's paws. Although I wash his feet every day after walks and I try to keep his paws dry, it is quite difficult to prevent the paws from getting infected sometimes. Here is a common problem Rockford has, which is an inflamed redness in his paw webs. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to treat these paw allergies or infections with a paw soap using Epsom salt. What is Epsom salt and what are its benefits? So stay tuned! Hi, my name is Debbie. Welcome or welcome back to our channel where Rockford, my English Bulldog and I would like to share with you our happy moments together and also share with you some dog care tips and experiences that may better help you take care of your dogs. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and all the things I mentioned in this video, I will also put the information down in the description box below. Now, let's get started. So what is Epsom salt? Despite its name, it's not like the salt we use on food. In fact, it's not even salty. It's named a salt because of its chemical structure and the main chemical compound that made up the salt is magnesium, sulfuric, and oxygen. It is also named after where it was discovered, in the spring water in a town called Epsom in Surrey, England. I have this pure Epsom salt here that I bought from the local market and I didn't care about what brand it is as long as it is a pure Epsom salt. The look of the salt is quite different as well. It looks like shiny little crystals and is quite smooth in texture and is quite light in weight. For hundreds of years, humans mixed this Epsom salt into their bathtub for relaxation and also to relieve muscle tension or stress. So what are the benefits of Epsom salt for dogs? Well, firstly, if your dog has a small cut or wound, this Epsom salt helps gently clean the wound and also aid in drawing out infections. Because this salt is not salty, it is safe to soak the whole area of the wound into the mixture of Epsom salt. However, if the wound is quite big and it's quite painful for your dog, I strongly recommend you to consult with your vet before trying this out. The second benefit is to help relieve discomfort or itchiness caused by allergies due to environmental factors. It also helps reduce the swelling, the redness, or the itchiness from the skin. However, again, if the infected area is quite painful for your dog, I strongly recommend you to consult with your vet before trying this out. The third benefit is for dogs who stay in dry or cold weather and they have dry cracked skin. This Epsom salt is quite amazing as well because it helps replenish the moisture back to the skin. And lastly, just like humans, you can also use this Epsom salt to soak their whole body to relax them and also to relieve joint or muscle pain. For Ruffer, Ruffer usually have some swelling or redness in his paw webs. It doesn't hurt when I touch it and it's not itchy as well. But I think it's the start of an infection, so I want to tackle this issue immediately before it gets worse. So let's go and see how I do it. Now here is what you need. First, our key ingredient, the Epsom salt. Then you will need a bowl or a container that is heat resistant and that is big enough for the whole paw to be soaked into the mixture. Next, a teaspoon to measure the amount of Epsom salt. You can also use a measurement cup and some clean room temperature water. And lastly, some boiling water so it is easy for you to melt the salt into the water. Now let's start by digging into the Epsom salt with a teaspoon. From my studies online, you need a cup of Epsom salt per gallon of water. While my measurement skills are not so good to be honest, I think a teaspoon of this salt will do for a small bowl. You don't have to be exact and I find a teaspoon of this salt works already for Rockford's Falls. Next, I add one fourth of boiling water into the bowl. If you are soaking a certain part of their body, you might need a bigger container. Whether it is a bathtub or a bucket, just make sure the mixture covers the whole area you want to soak. Then, I stir for a while for the Epsom salt to melt into the water.
You can see that the salt has completely melted into the water. Now I add some clean water into the bowl, leaving an inch of space in case I need to add more boiling water. Now let's check if the water is warm. If it's not warm, add a little of the boiling water into the bowl. Now let's check again. Okay, all good now, and we're ready. Here is Rockford. He had just finished playing and he is quite tired. I always like to release his energy first before starting any skincare routine so he can stay calm. If your dog is active and couldn't stay still, I recommend putting them in a bathtub with his four paws covered into the mixture. That way they can move around freely in the bathtub while the paws are soaked. As you can see, we just started dipping his left paw into the mixture. The bowl is a bit small for his paws so we have to press his paws and also tilt the water a bit to cover the infected area. We will be soaking each paw for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, we take his paw out and put it on a paper towel and gently wipe the excess water out from his paw. You can also use a regular towel. Rockford is now a bit uncomfortable after sitting there for 5 minutes, so he moved away. That is okay. Since he moved, we can use the leftover paper towel to wipe the floor dry. Then we got another sheet of paper towel and put it underneath the paw that has been sewed. Now we start the same process with his right paw. We are using the same mixture of water we have used for his left paw. After wiping the excess water from his paw, we use the paper towels to wipe the floor dry. It's time to blow dry. This is quite funny as Rockford is afraid of wires. We start with blow drying his right paw, emphasizing on drying his paw webs. To increase the effectiveness of the soak, you don't have to rinse the Epsom salt out from his paw. We now start the same process with his left paw. Rockford is super happy it is almost over. Before we finish, we're going to apply the Skin Soother from Natural Dog Company. This is an all-natural antibiotic topical treatment balm for cuts, rashes, burns, wounds, and dry, itchy, or irritated skin. It is packed with all-natural healing herbs that are antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory, and it helps prevent and heals infections. If you don't have this in hand, don't worry. I sometimes use baby powder that is hypoallergenic which works really good as well. So here are the results after soaking his paws with Epsom salt twice a day for 7 days. You will start to see the results after just 2-3 to three days. As you can see, there are no redness in his paws anymore. 
Now let's see the other paw. There are still some loose skin in one of his paw webs. I have consulted with my vet and she said it's fine as long as it does not hurt when you touch it and as long as it does not irritate them. I think it's good already, don't you agree? So I hope this video is useful for you. Please let us know in the comments if you have tried this before and what are the results you have with Epsom salt. I would love to hear from you. If you like this kind of video, please give me a thumbs up, hit the bell button and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye!